Hey girlfriend, what is up? I hope you guys are having a nice day. I'm missing that so much. I miss sitting here so much talking to you guys. I know right now the situation is a bit weird. Um, it's because of the lighting, it's very bad and I'm just trying to fix things up. So anyways, I just got back from Japan yesterday and I know I haven't done a Japan vlog yet. That one's gonna come right after this haul. But right now, girlfriend, I know you're all girls, except for some boys, and we're all about shopping. So I can't wait to show you guys what I bought in Japan. And it's hell a lot of things. I actually got two new suitcases. So half of my things are beauty and cosmetics. So if you don't want to see that, please skip to this number right here. I'm gonna put it right here. Here, can skip it right here. Yeah, so okay, let's clear all this and let's get right into it. I'm back right now, girlfriend, because I'm a girl. I want to talk about beauty stuff first. And let me just tell you guys that I've researched the top, 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 top things to get when you are in Japan for beauty stuff. I actually printed out a list of things that I want to buy. This is no shit, legit shit. I'm telling you, these are all the things that I researched. All things that I want to buy, or I printed out on all these papers. You can get skincare, you can get makeup anywhere. Even the 7 Eleven there sells like skincare and cosmetics. Pretty incredible! But if you want to get the most good deal and the cheapest one, you go to this place called Matsumoto Kiyoshi. They have it almost everywhere around the streets, and there's actually a few levels. Oh my god, that place is huge. And if you have no time, like me, you can just straight away go there and get everything you want. Everything you want is there in a better price, and it's way 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 more convenient so they pack it for you nicely it's actually sealed like this see it's very convenient whenever you're in a plane you can just hand carry it like that i bought everything there straight ahead because i didn't bring much of my cosmetics or much of my skincare makeup there i already knew that i was going to buy my stuff there so let's go from the top to the bottom so one thing that a lot of people recommend when they go to japan is you gotta try the eye drops super super great it's called the roto lychee uh, I don't know why is it called lychee. Maybe it's a lychee smell or lychee flavor. It comes in two different types. Okay, so this one is for contact lenses. This one is the normal one. I use eye drops all the time because I get red eyes very easily and I don't know why. Maybe that's like a problem. I bought one extra just in case, you know, it runs out very fast and you can't find this back in my place. Letting you guys know everything in their products are all written in Japanese and that's the sad thing about that. You gotta do your own research. Next thing of the must get list is this. There's 14 pieces in one pack. Apparently it's heat packs for your eyes. I have very puffy eyes and morning I wake up my eyes are swollen and that's why I thought I wanted to try this. I sadly only bought one pack. So yeah, uh, I haven't tried this yet and so is some of the products. Oh wait, that's my phone. Um, okay, sorry, one minute. Hello? Hello, is this current me talking? Yes, this is current well, me. yes, um, this is future me talking right now. Oh, hi, hi future me. And I just want to let you know that I tried some of the products that you said you have not oh, tried. Well, thank and you. And why don't to make your life more easier, I will pop in whenever and I will just give a bit of two cents on the product that I tried. Is that okay? Oh. Is that great? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's really right. great. And by the way, I know no one says this and you don't hear it enough. You don't look hot. You look beautiful. Thank you. Goodbye, okay. darling. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So yeah, I'll let future me do the talking. <laughs> and next thing on the list is this Kose Eye Mask. Apparently, it helps clear your wrinkles really fast. In Japan, there's so many tons of product. And day by day, they always try to innovate their product, make it better, make it more great. So how would you find out what product is good, right? So apparently, if you can't read Japanese, go for this label here. You see this label here? It's number one. So the ranking always changes. But this product apparently has been number one for nine years straight. That's pretty insane. Another thing famous in Japan is of course their eyelashes. Girlfriend, you want to have nice eyelashes like me? I'm sure you guys heard of Dolly Wig. It's pretty famous. It's number one in Japan as well. The current one I'm wearing is this pink color one. I also bought one from Diamond Lash. This is 1,400 yen for one, two, three, four, five. Five pairs. This one is 1,200 yen for two pairs, which is pretty expensive. But first in KL, I've been trying to find a very good eyelash glue. I'm not sure if you noticed this, but I stopped using fake eyelashes because I can't find a very good eyelash glue. And I finally found a really good one in Japan. I'm wearing it right now. It's called the Dupe Eyelash Fixer X. It looks like that. The packaging looks like this. One is in black color and one is in the natural white color that dries out 
transparently okay the only eyeshadow brand that i bought was from kose this one is called vc evan it's in the color erotic it's very shimmery it's very shiny i love it so much next let's talk about cheeks this is one of the top selling products as well it's been number one for years and it's a pretty cheap you can buy it to give people as well it's called the cam make cream cheek it blends out so naturally i'm so impressed i bought a few because i want to give my girlfriends like a very cute packaging i love it so much this is number one cream blusher at the moment for me. Another product from Canmake which is very famous as well is called the Canmake Marshmallow Finish Powder. It makes your skin look really smooth and I love it so much. I love the packaging as well. Their packaging are so pretty, I just cannot. When I was in Japan, the weather there was pretty cold and the wind was blowing and lips, it makes my lip pretty dry. So I just tried this DHC lip cream. There's no scent to it as well and I love that because I don't really like scented lip balm. It feels like there's almost nothing when you apply it on your lips. And I love it so much. Moving on, Japanese girls like to do one thing almost every other day. Almost all every day actually. They like to use face masks. And this brand, Lululun, it's been number one since 2014. There's like 32 pieces in one pack. It comes in a box and you tear it out, there's like sheets of masks coming out. Next thing which is famous is all the freaking crazy masks. I bought tons of Godzilla masks. Because I think that they are just so cute. Have a look. Even the back of it is so funny. Oh my god. Oh my god. It <laughs> looks like that. Roar! I'm here to get you, Roar. I bought one Minion one, I bought one Skull one, and I bought a Death Note mask. Like, hello, Death Note mask. What? What? The Kami mask? What? So if you have no time to go to Disney Sea or Disneyland like me in Tokyo, there's actually Disney stores around the city. So I got myself these two face masks. I can't wait. I can't wait to try Maleficent. On face wash, there's actually this famous brand called Sui Sui Soi Sui Sui Soi. <laughs> this brand is actually called Sui Soi, and it actually comes in this kind of like packets small packet creamer thing and I think this is just so cute it's actually powder and when you mix it with water it becomes foam I bought another face wash in Japan it's actually this Senka Perfect Whip I'm using it every day now and I think that this is so great and a little bit goes a very long way for skincare I heard a lot of good reviews about this brand Seki Sei seriously the price here in KL is so much more expensive than in Japan. This one was 40% off. 40% off! I'm like, oh my god, bye 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 bye. It's actually this uh, emulsion that I used before my moisturizer and it really boosts up your whatever you put on your face afterwards. 40% off, I don't know why you're not buying it in Japan. Oh shit, what's it called? Okay, another skincare product. This has been number one, the moisturizer. And I'm surprised that Hana Labo wasn't really a big hype in Japan. It is a big hype here, but in Japan, this one is number one. It's actually made out of soy milk. It's more fluid and I love it so much. I think this might be even better than the one I'm using right now which is Hadarabo. I use Hadarabo moisturizer all the time but this one definitely kind of tops it off. So sorry Hadarabo but this one wins for now. This thing is my makeup remover and this one is from DHC. It's called the Deep Cleansing Oil. I hardly use makeup removal oils because I am prone to get pimples after that but I've been using this for a week plus when I was in Japan and this is the travel size. So kawaii ne! And especially for my waterproof makeup, I think this does a really, really great job. Japanese girls really don't look their age at all. Like seriously, an old auntie who is 50 years old could look like 30 years old and man, her skin still looks fabulous. That's because a lot of Japanese girls, they drink collagen. What's collagen? I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a go. So I bought this um, collagen. It's actually from Shiseido, the hair brand. Shiseido, what? Shiseido collagen. This has been number one and this is their 20th anniversary. It's actually a very famous product that I heard a lot of beauty bloggers, beauty gurus try out themselves as well. So, yeah. It smells a bit like medicine. Mm, it's a bit sourish taste. I hope it's not spoiled. It tastes very fruity, very syrupy. It's nice! And my beautiful yet. That's finally all I have for my beauty stuff. Oh my god, I spent half of my budget, I think more than half of my budget on my beauty, on my face. What the fuck? Let's move on to the other things. I am super tired from doing part one. I'm so thirsty. Mm. This is so good! 
I wish I bought more of this. This guy, I what's it called? The Q something. I love this so much. It's in peach flavor. Oh my god. Guys, if you're in Japan, buy more of this and drink it on behalf of me. I love this so much. <laughs> I wish I bought more. <laughs> So we're finally back on part 2 in Japan vlog A lot of you guys, I've been wondering like Suddenly my holiday was in Japan I guess it's because I hate to break it to you But I got engaged! Oh my god! You don't believe me? Why no one believes that? <laughs> okay, yeah, I didn't get engaged I got these super cute rings from the street stores in Japan I think I was in Ginza or something And they were around like 70 bucks 70 ringgit each It looks exactly the ones that I wanted in Pandora Like, Pandora ones are ridiculously expensive But these ones were like 70 bucks And this quality is... Mm. I bought a Pandora charm from Japan and if you know me in person I do have a Pandora bracelet but I hardly have any charms I have I have this bracelet for like 3 years now and I just have really really few charms So this one I had to get in Japan because I just really love Japan And it's actually this Japanese doll that is super cute and it just reminds me all the time about Japan And that's, that's what I like about charms It just reminds you of the things that you might have forgotten or Hey, come on, I buy charms because there's a meaning, okay? You think I buy it because I like it or it looks nice? Uh, no, there's a meaning for every charm, okay? So moving on, just gonna randomly pick what I have in this luggage. The first thing that I wanna talk about is this very, very soft pillow. It reminds me of mochi. It reminds me of that warm feeling when you had like a very nice warm soup on a super cold day, on a super cold rainy day. It says here it's premium touch and it's from... Front, French, front. Welcome to the family! I'm really happy to have this pillow. Ah, I love this so much. It's so soft! I love it so much! And so, one thing sad about Malaysia and KL, there's actually no Lush products. There's no Lush stores. So, when I saw Lush in Japan, I went kind of crazy. This is apparently some. They are, you see, they're all in Japanese, guys. They're all in freaking Japanese. I can't read that. And apparently, this one is like some soap. It's some jiggly jiggly soap. I bought these two bath bombs. Oh, Sakura? You come on, you gotta get the Sakura bath bomb from Japan, right? It looks like a nipple. Oh my god. <laughs> and then I bought is their yeah, best seller. It's Tada! The sex bomb. I bought this two body wash. One is called Comforter and one is called Raining Man. The Comforter one just looks really nice because there's like some glitter inside. So next thing I got is stockings. Really cheap stockings. When I was in Disney store, I got this little mermaid thingy. Like I don't know what is it for, but it just looks Looks like freaking sushi. I had to get it. It's just so cute. I went in this handcraft store in some streets and I found this really um, cute thing. Ta -da! It's actually made out of paper. Oh my god. And it's painted, like hand painted. I don't know. I just think that it's really cute. That's why I bought it. Moving on, I bought a lot of cute socks. So many cute socks like this. Like what? This is like the Sailor Moon sock. This is so cute. I bought one. This one is. <laughs> It's actually like a guy dressed up in a bunny suit and I think that is just so cute. So freaking hilarious. Japan, you weird. I don't know why I bought so many other socks. One's love shape, more heart shaped socks, another heart shaped sock. I think I'm in desperate need of love. Like some plain socks, thankfully. <laughs> I bought all those socks from a shop called Wego. Wego is my goal. Like, we go to Wego. It's like the cotton on of Japan. There's so many stuff there which is young and trendy, and you can find Wego everywhere. Just the same with cotton on. You can find cotton on everywhere. And I bought myself these chokers, and I think this is so cute. The one that I'm wearing is dusty pink, and I bought some other colors for friends. So cute! This is random. When I was in Asakusa, it, the temple, I saw this. I don't know what is this, guys. Please, if you are from Japan, please let me know. Or if you know what is this, please let me know. Is this some like demonic thing uh, that I'm not supposed to buy or touch? Or like, I don't know where to put this, guys. Please, if you love me, please let me know what is this. I don't know what is this. Am I supposed to ring it? Am I not supposed to ring it? I don't know. I'm thinking too much. I don't know. I don't know what's that. I don't know if it's demonic or not. Uh, it's actually a cute wind chime. Yeah. And there's some like blessing down here that you can like put it down here And I just really like the sound of it It just have a very calming sound and I like it 
But please let me know if it's demonic or not, I'm gonna throw it away. Okay, so thanks. <laughs> when I was in Loaf, I bought so much like stationary stuff and like especially stickers. I especially like this one. It's the one where like the guy... Wait, I have this in guy version. It's actually the one where the guy like puts his hand over the other person and he's like... Like that. Apparently these stickers are quite famous. They, they're called the B-side label. I bought so many of them to give people. This one is actually a cat and on the piano it's actually called Nyanmaha instead of Yamaha. Nyanmaha, oh my god. <laughs> Japan, I love you. And I'm gonna give to my friends, my colleagues or whatever. I got this llama one as well. I think that this is just super adorable. I got this sticker which is like some flower sticker. It looks like stamps. Oh my god, super cute, super cute. Got this one from Japan. Got this one to remind me of Japan. They're all like Japanese characters, like Japanese temples, geisha and stuff. So uh, when I was in like some small village, uh, I saw this on the side of the road selling and they were selling stones. Why was I buying stones? I don't know. And they're not cheap, you know? So I got this. It looks like some diseased polka dot stone and I think that's just so cute. This one is a blue stone that I don't know why I bought it. I just think that it's very unique and it has like some green white stuff on it and another one I got is this purple crystal-ish thing I'm bad at naming stones or crystals so bear with me guys and another thing in Japan is bondage stuff like seriously they have a lot of like sex things I haven't been to the sex store in Akihabara or something like that I haven't been to there Apparently there's like 10 floors or 4 floors of like sex toys and all those sex stuff So I, I stumbled upon this like uh, kind of like costume store And they have all these like sex chokers that I think this Oh my god I said This is probably the most time I said sex in a video um, Another one is this thingy that you wear on. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like. Please don't fantasize on it. <laughs> Another one is this. Are these called gutters? This is actually for your stockings. And I think they're just really cute, really sexy. I bought some other bag from Vigo as well. And I think like Japanese, they have super super stylish street wears. Super stylish bag that looks like that. And it's like waterproof. And it looks something like that. I think that this is just so cool for like traveling as well. And not only that, it comes with a free bag! No, I bought all these bags from Vigo as well. This is actually a furry bag. That, open it, put your stuff in there. Oh my god, so cute! Another thing from Vigo as well, I know. I bought another bag. I bought in total of one, two, three, five bags from Japan. This is like a small carry-on bag, like a sling bag. I'm so obsessed with like fluffy stuff. I cannot, I, I think it's pretty obvious that I'm obsessed with fluffy stuff. Another thing that I got, I am so tourist. I got a Tokyo bag. This is like some collaboration with some famous person. It's basically like, you know, things to go around Tokyo. It reminds me of Japan whenever I carry these bags. I bought um, Belvedere. Another one, which is I'm giving to someone. No, this is, uh, no, sorry. This is Hibiki Centauri Whiskey. This is not cheap, man. Another alcohol is, of course, Sake. I bought sake from Japan. Oh my god, this one just tastes so good. This one is um, it's either sakura or it's pink. So it's either sakura or peach. I think it's peach. This one is a lemon flavor. These two are just seriously amazing and I love it so much. It tastes so good, it's so light and it's so fragrant. It's so smooth. I never tasted such a nice sake in my life before and it's pretty affordable. It's the bomb, man. It's the bomb. I can down this in five minutes. And what not to enjoy your sake with some nice looking glass. This is pretty expensive. That's why it comes in like this this expensive looking box. What? Glass with gold? I didn't know I bought like glass with gold. Oh my god. Look at that. It's so cute. This is actually 200 ringgit for a glass. But girl, this is just so cute and it's in sakura and apparently it's with gold I'm sure like whatever you drink from this glass just makes it 
taste more better. Okay, moving on to food. So these are some of the food that I haven't tried yet because I want to give them to people to share. This one is the famous Kalbi potato chips with honey. This one is for myself. This one is I'm not going to give people because this is so good. I tried this before. This is really, really 100% my favorite chips. And I heard about this before. It's like rice crackers and apparently it's like in some soy sauce flavor. I've never tried this. Can't wait to try it with my friends. I had to get the Tokyo banana. some ribbon on it oh my god it's so cute i like it so much and it's pink oh my god i know i don't know how you can stand me okay i'm opening it Ooh. How are you doing? oh my god so freaking cute mm. it's so nice it's so yummy you can taste some honey banana and caramel mm. oh why some um, I don't know why there's giraffe. Can someone explain to me why is there giraffe? Next is all this Kit Kat! Green tea, there's like strawberry, sakura with green tea. Yeah, you give me the little pink. Little pink, so small. Open it up. They are green color! Oh my god, oh my god, the green color. Look! Uh, take a break, take a Kit Kat. Ooh. It tastes a bit, bit like kueh lapis. So good though. It's not too sweet. Definitely don't taste very strong green tea, which I don't like. Everything in Japan is very nice, damn it. Another thing that interests me when I was in Family Mart, it's this meat in a pack. You don't get like pork in a pack. Same with another one like pork and cheese in a pack. Hopefully this goes well with wine so I can taste it in my new wine glass. So that's about it guys for this pretty long Japan haul. I hope you guys stay until the end. If not all my efforts, I feel like have been wasted. I feel like I've been talking so much, my throat is so dry and it's been wasted. So, so comment this, comment this down there and I would know that you watched until the very end. Comment this. So I hope you guys have a nice day. I really like Japan, it's really nice there. I can't wait to show you what happened. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye! Love you!